My experience in this sport is almost 40 years now. I have opportunity to learn from the first people who started the sport, from Carlos, Helio, George, Gaston, the brothers who started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and all the way to today. It based, for me, if you look, because I saw all the steps, how I arrived to what we do today, the, the, the sport of grappling in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He, uh, base, I start putting some things together which is uh, very unique. But these unique things, what's good, you guys, the first guys to learn. It's not even few, my brothers don't know the techniques. You know what I mean? And these techniques is very, very interesting. When you learn how to do it, you know what I mean? You're going to change the game. Uh, of a lot of people when they try to use the guard against you, you're going to be able to surprise them in many different attacks. They don't even know what it is. You know what I mean? They are going to show you some, some of the techniques for you guys. When uh, I create the techniques, or when the techniques start, is a uh, basic precept, is a, uh, we call the C techniques. The C techniques, is the techniques who go for everything. That's the, the, the core, the, the, the grow of all, the whole game. You understand? Know and for me, I was thinking about, I need to find something new. What's the, the, the C techniques? What's the, who I can, I can create the whole game on top? And that's what I did. I found something. The, um, I create the C and start grow the game. And that's what I'm going to show you guys. But one of the things I did different, I nickname everything, every movement, every techniques. So I come out with some great techniques, like crocodile roll, reverse crocodile, uh, crocodile control, crocodile pass, armadillo roll. What happened, the reason I created the name, because it's good for help you guys to memorize too. Because you guys can talk about your opponent, defend the crocodile roll. Try counter the crocodile roll, do the pass, do the madilla, you know what I'm All the name, because I just show the movements. The, um, sometimes you memorize the move, but the interaction between uh, people, sometimes they don't know what you're talking about. No, they know the techniques he can show, they won't move around, the guy said, what you talking about, you know what I mean? But when you say the name, oh, do you know the crocodile techniques he can show? Oh yeah, remember the crocodile techniques. You know what I mean? That's why I structure all these techniques with names. Okay? The first techniques the C, because I create, I call the Hegan trap. You understand? <laughs> I create the techniques. I deserve, right? <laughs> it's a way to market yourself too. Okay. Uh, I first I'm gonna show the techniques. And after these, I'm going to show you how to write the techniques and the things you can do from the techniques. Remember, guys, this is something so unique, it's so fresh. You guys, the first group learning these techniques. You know what I'm saying? What is good about that, you guys have something not other Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys or any other grappler have. You guys do that well. You guys be able to surprise so many people because they even want to say, what you doing? What the hell is that? You know what I mean? Okay, let me show you the first thing. One of the first thing, okay, keep the leg like this. With, in, in passing the guard, have two things you do. One is outside, over here, have three angles. Side angle, front, and the other side here. There's a three angles from outside. Okay? Now, from outside, when he opened the leg like this or things like that, to don't let him to get to the angles, now I'm inside. Okay? When I'm inside here is the angle number four, which you can go inside, you can push, you can do all kinds of techniques like that. Okay? Now, when his leg closed or something like that, it's not, you 
the whole game you have to fight to get inside. What happened is like this, you start work around, when he put the leg and everything, now you have space to come inside him. Which I'm gonna show you setups for you to develop to go inside the legs. Okay, but based over here, when you inside, having the key of everything is to understand the points important in this setup. When I put the foot here, my foot is right next to his hip. You see here, like you guys come over here, you see that? Okay. You see here my foot, right here next to his hip over here. Not here. Okay, I want to be sure I go deep enough for my foot to get right there. Now, the next important point here is to see, you see here, his leg higher. I don't want this leg high. I want to push this leg lower. You see what I did? Be below my knee. Okay, come back again. Okay, here I want to step inside and the leg be lower than my knee. Okay, now the next step, this leg is outside this leg over here. Now what I'm going to do, my knee, that's the first step I do. I put my knee here. Now you start to see here, his foot get inside my leg. You see what I did here? Okay, when his foot go inside my leg, the next thing I'm going to do now, this arm is going to go here, put the hands on the ground, like this. This hand here, grab the belt, over here, okay, you have it here, have it here. Now, that's one the very important point. Okay, you see here, slide the knee in. When you slide the knee in, now his foot stuck over there. You understand? What happened now, I have trapped his leg through my hip and my legs over here. And these over here, I centralize balance. Instead of stay straight like this, I want to stay like this, because over here, I'm in excellent balance. The next thing here, I just hold the belt. I don't want to do worry about anything, because these are keeping him closer to me. Now, that's the seed of the techniques. That's the Higgin trap. All the techniques I'm going to show you come straight from here, from this trap. You know how to get here, you guys are going to be able to do phenomenal techniques from here, which I'm going to show you guys. Okay? One more time. Now, okay, remember, we, for right now, we're just going to do that because we need to learn this trap. When you learn this trap, now I start showing a lot of techniques. Now let's focus. One, inside, the leg lower, now moving angle, knee, hands on the ground, lock, grab the belt. Okay? One more time. Inside, step, lower the leg, knee on the ground, hands on the ground, grab the bell, slide the knee. Now you see here, I have the trap here, and now I control the belt. Okay? We're gonna do that 10 times, and after you do 10 times, your partner do 10 times. Don't worry about to do both sides, just do on one side, okay? Okay, so let's go.